Good evening. Thanks for joining us. Our big story tonight at six. He was the spokesman for the Senate Republicans partisan election review. Now he feels sorry for the Republican voters who believed in it. The 2020 election review is the first of its kind in the country. The findings are expected to be presented on Friday. Election experts have criticized the review as a partisan attempt to undermine elections. Team 12's Bram Bresnik talked to a one-time spokesman who says that GOP voters are being fed conspiracy theories. John Brakey was the star of a viral video about bamboo ballots back in May. Today, five months after the Republican review started, Brakey says he has no doubts about who won the election. It was one of the crazier conspiracy theories. Uh, and what they're doing is to find out if there's bamboo in the paper. Democrat John Brakey was brought on board to give Senate Republicans 2020 election review a bipartisan look. I was claiming that we are doing a lot of this work because we need to ungaslight people who are fed a bunch of crap. Brakey's known as a gadfly who's criticized Republicans and Democrats, but he never bought into the far-right fantasy that tens of thousands of 2020 ballots were flown into Arizona from Asia. Do you believe this was a free and fair election that was won by Joe Biden? Absolutely, I do, yes. The partisan audit findings, scheduled for release Friday afternoon, are expected to paint a different picture. We're not giving up, guys. We're not giving up. Senate President Karen Fan confirmed to 12 News the presenters Friday will include her team leader, Cyber Ninja's Doug Logan. The Arizona Republic reports Logan began working closely as far back as November with Donald Trump supporters trying to throw out Joe Biden's victory. Also presenting findings, an election conspiracy theorist named Shiva Ayadurai, also known as Dr. Shiva. Fan says the findings will be forwarded to Republican Attorney General Mark Burnovich for possible criminal investigation. John Brakey says he feels sorry for Republican voters who have high hopes for the findings. And a lot of these people are good people who have been terribly misled. In Phoenix, Bram Resnick, 12 News. Bram, thanks.